Diversion Audio. Previously on the Royals of Malibu. You seriously chartered a helicopter to Catalina Island just for me? <laughs> I, I didn't technically charter it. It's Cal. We ended it. Okay, V. Seriously, we're done. Where is this coming from? <laughs> oh, fuck you, Easton. All you talk about is perfect Ella. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I have never, ever compared the two of you. How did you remember all these formulas last semester? She let us have our notes for the exam last semester. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Why is she making everything so hard for you? It's like Behringer wants me to fail. Hey, man. I'm Isaac. Reed. Sorry, who is this, Ella? She didn't tell you about me. I'm Ella's boyfriend. Ice ristretto with oat milk and two pumps of chai for sage. God, reel it in, sage. Jesus. Hey, Ella. I made you a pistachio latte. Today's the big day, huh? Oh, thanks, Lucy. Yeah, yeah, today is exam day. I didn't think I'd see you here this morning. Wouldn't you save time studying at home? Home is a little awkward right now. Uh-oh. What happened? Well, I was seeing a guy in San Francisco, and when I moved back here, I kind of never broke up with him. So now I need to break up with him, like, today. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right, well, what does that have to do with home? Well, <laughs> he's here. He showed up at my house last night, and he met Reed. <laughs> <laughs> last I heard, you weren't even talking to Reed. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, that was just a big misunderstanding. We cleared that up. Decided to try again. Isn't this like the third time you've decided to try again? Yes. Ella? Yes? You're the coolest teenager I've ever met, okay? And I literally hate teenagers. You could run for president one day, or, I don't know, own a humongous company, or put people on Mars, who knows? If you keep your head on straight. I just, I don't know, do you think this Reed guy is helping you, or is he just holding you back? I... You don't have to answer me. Just really think about it, okay? I'm worried about your love life. It's, it seems insanely stressful for someone your age, you know? I guess it's been a little anxiety-inducing. And I think that's the reason why I didn't break things off with Isaac, the guy from SF. Spending time with him was so effortless, you know? No drama, and he really likes me. Oh God, I have to break up with him. Probably, but you need to focus on your exams today. These are a big deal. No boy stuff, just erase the boy stuff from your mind. Oh, it's just so confusing. Don't think about boys, think about US history. <sighs> You're right, no boys, just US history. <sighs> oh shoot, okay, okay, I gotta go. Take your latte. You're gonna do great. Thanks, Lucy. Welcome, dead kid. Wow, nice latte. You didn't get me anything? Oh shit, Val. I'm sorry, I didn't even think about that. I'm just messing with you. I know you have a lot on your mind. <sighs> Thanks for offering to take me to school. Things are very weird at the house. Uh, yeah, you didn't tell me about your secret boyfriend. How do you already know about that? I told you I'm the cheese my queen. Easton told Savannah, Savannah told me. I already stalked his Insta and he is fine as hell. But girl, what are you doing? I know, it's bad and I have to break up with him, like today. But I'm really trying to focus on these exams right now. So do you think we can talk about it after 4 p.m.? Okay, we love a healthy boundary. Sounds like a plan. Oh, yeah, 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 I brought you these. Damn, you robbed a Whole Foods? Peppermint candies to help you focus, almonds for healthy fats, and turmeric shots for focus. I don't want to drink this. For focus, I said drink it. <coughs> this is disgusting. Yeah, yeah, the ginger. Here, here, here. Latte has a chaser. <coughs> Hurry, hurry, hurry! <coughs> the ginger burns! 
<laughs> Little wussy. So, how are you feeling about Savannah being your proctor today? What is that again? Basically, she's the chick who's supposed to walk you to all the different classrooms and make sure that you don't have a mental breakdown. Because of the crushing pressure, this school has decided to put you under. Maybe we should just turn around and go home now. Save myself the trouble. I mean, it wouldn't be that bad to retake junior year, right? You are not retaking junior year. I won't allow it. Ow, Val, you're mushing my face. I need us to graduate together. Okay, I get it. I need you to pass these exams. I'm going to pass. <laughs> I don't want to freak you out, but Savannah is on a warpath. <sighs> what do you mean? Ever since she found out about your kiss with Easton, she's been super mad. Like, even her kickboxing instructor told her to take it down a notch. Savannah does kickboxing now? Oh, yeah. Her lower body strength is impressive. Her quads? Undeniable. Anyway, I would be cautious if I were you. Mean Girl Savannah is back with a vengeance, and uh, you're again enemy number one. <sighs> Maybe you're overreacting. I mean, Savannah forgave Easton, right? Why wouldn't she forgive me? Is that a serious question? What happened to girls supporting girls? Yeah, that goes out the window as soon as one of those girls gets jealous. <sighs> Can she tell that I feel horrible about the whole situation? I've texted her like a million times, but she won't answer. Savannah doesn't care about remorse. She cares about human suffering. Like, ending human suffering? No, causing it. Duh. <sighs> I'm gonna drop you here. Thanks, Valerie. Remember, if you don't pass these exams, I will kill you. <laughs> okay, okay. Fear of death is a good motivator. so well rested <laughs> and kind of mad. Did you get my texts? Stop talking. Sorry. This is how today's gonna go. Your exams are gonna take place during each teacher's free period. I have your schedule here so you know which room to go to for each test. Got it. I wasn't finished. The teachers are gonna make sure you don't cheat on your little exams and I'm supposed to sit outside each room like a forgotten puppy. Thank you for doing that. For real, Savannah. Yeah, still not done talking. I agreed to be your chaperone, but that was before I knew about your little homewrecking kiss with Easton. Savannah, I'm sorry, okay, but you've got to understand. I was an emotional mess after the read thing, and I don't know, I wasn't thinking straight. I know, I know, it's so hard to be Ella. <laughs> However, now that I know what I know, I'm revoking my goodwill. What is that supposed to mean? You're on your own today. How am I supposed to know which room to go to? I don't know when every teacher has their free period, Savannah. Not my problem. First exam is in five minutes, by the way. Good luck, Ella. Wait, Savannah, please. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? Yeah, I got your text. I'm in the front office now. One of the front desk ladies has a thing for me, so I'm hoping she'll hook us up with your exam schedule. What I really want to do is rat out Savannah to Behringer. That's what I should do. Hey, you got tests to take. Let's get you to your exams on time and worry about Savannah later. You're sure my first exam is calc? Room 13A? Yeah, I had to take a makeup exam once, and Miss Sigmund definitely has her free period first. <sighs> okay, wish me luck. Wait, why is Reed here? 
wait for it. Oh, did Reed buy me flowers? There it is. Why did Reed order me flowers? I thought he'd be pissed at me. Uh, because he ordered them yesterday from a bougie little flower shop before he knew you had a secret boyfriend. Oh, no, Easton, this is so awkward. Good luck with your love triangle. I'll text you the schedule. <laughs> Hi. I'm sorry, I, I know we need to talk. Yeah, we definitely do. Are those for me? Yeah. They're, um, huge. Oh my god! You got it? Yeah, just like ten pounds. <laughs> um, thank you for these. I didn't know they made bouquets this big. <laughs> I shouldn't have gotten any flowers. This is so weird. No, it's not. It's really, really sweet. Ella, who was that guy? He's Isaac. And, and I'm going to explain everything, I swear, but right now I really need to get into that classroom. Don't avoid me. I'm not avoiding you. I just need to pass these tests and I can't be late. <sighs> yeah, I know. Good luck on your tests, all right? Thank you. Seriously. I managed to get Reed and Isaac out of my head long enough to focus on my first exam. <sighs> For problems one through three, compute the differential of the given function. Okay, no more boys. Focus on calculus. Oh, I can do this. I'm finished, Miss Sigmund. doing here? I'm your new proctor, bitch! Eat an almond and follow me. Um, there's no next button. Oh, wait, keep scrolling. Got it. My brain is completely full of Greek tragedies and Shakespearean tragedies and U.S. history and the periodic table of elements. But... Every time I close my eyes, I see Reed and Isaac. Ugh! The main purpose of the Seneca Falls Convention was to... Um... A. Declare the right to vote for women. Yep. Okay. Oh! It sings to you when you finish the test. That's kind of nice. <laughs> Hi! Sorry! I'm a little out of breath. Gertrude has subsequently married Claudius. This marriage occurs off stage, symbolizing Hamlet's lack of autonomy. Almost there, Al. You got this. Come on. Quiz me. Who wrote Antigone? Sophocles, right? But Antigone wasn't on the syllabus. No. Yeah, I was just wondering. Your last exam, girl. It's the final touchdown or quarter or girl, something sporty. Uh, I thought today was never going to end. Uh, let's see. The schedule says this one is with Berenger. Oof. You don't think she's about to expel me, do you? She better not. I'd stage a walkout. Free Ella! Hi, Headmaster Berenger. I hope you don't mind that I volunteered to oversee your final exam. Yeah, yeah, of course. No worries. Um, why? How are you doing? Oh, <laughs> I love taking six exams all at once, especially if the outcome of those exams will determine my entire academic fate. It's an extremely low-stress way to learn, actually. And how do you feel about the cove? Is it generally too high-stressed? Do you like it here? Um... You can be honest. My school in Fresno didn't have an Olympic-sized swimming pool, you know? We had swim practice at the local community college, and we didn't have art history classes or music theory or Latin. I'm smart, okay? And I've always known that, and I'm, I'm so grateful to have access to all of these things now, but when, when I look at the kids at the Cove, surrounded by all this opportunity, I ask myself, I mean, do they deserve it more than the kids at my school in Fresno? Do I deserve it? I know the culture shock must have been difficult for you to adjust to. Hey, I can adjust to anything. I'm not dumb. 
Even if everyone here assumes I am based on how I look or the fact that I didn't master Latin in elementary school. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to imply that at all. I feel like you're implying that I'm not good enough to be here. Actually, I was trying to imply exactly the opposite. You're the kind of student I've always dreamed of having here. You're smart and kind, Ella. And outspoken when it matters. It's your social-emotional intelligence, as we refer to it in education, that I wish we had more of here at the Cove. Thank you. I hope you performed well on your exams today. You're supposed to give me my last one, but I already took all my subjects, so what's my final test? This is a list of essay prompts. I'd like you to write one-page essays for each. These are all personal questions. Extracurriculars, a list of books I've read in the past 12 months, an example of my civic engagement. What is this, some kind of weird diary entry? These are the personal essay prompts for Princeton, Harvard, and Yale. I'd like you to start thinking about your future, Ella. We'll consider these essays a first draft, and perhaps you and I can work on them together after today. You really think I could get into Princeton? I do. We have a high success rate for Ivy League applications, and I know for a fact your guardian has the number for the admissions office. It's certainly worth a shot. Please, have a seat. I've never written a personal essay like this. I know how to write about books, or historical events, or scientific research, or whatever. But I realize I've never written very much about myself. For some reason, this feels like the most challenging exam of the entire day. Hi. Thanks for the ride, Val. So, how'd it go? I guess we'll see when I get my test results back. I have to get a Cove pass, so at least a B in every subject. If anyone can do it, it's you. You know, I don't care whether you had a secret boyfriend. You could have 20 boyfriends. I wouldn't judge. I mean, I'd be amazed at your time management skills. <sighs> I don't have two boyfriends. Not on purpose, anyway. It hurts my feelings when you keep secrets like that. I get that it's a trauma thing, and I get that you don't owe me any information you don't want to share, but it feels unfair. I tell you everything. <sighs> I know. I'm sorry. So are you going to break up with him? Isaac? Well, this morning I was so sure that I needed to break things off, but then Reed was being super awkward, and I've just been thinking about how much drama has gone down between us. Isaac is so solid. Maybe Reed and I are too messy, you know? You two are pretty chaotic. I gotta say, I feel bad for Reed. He looks so sad all day today, like someone stole the surfboard. Uh, I'm not used to hurting people, you know? I'm a nice person. I'm not the bad guy. I I don't know what to do. Mm, well, you better figure out what you're going to do soon. Look who's waiting for you. Fuck. Want me to drive away? You can totally stay at my place tonight. As much as I want to bail, I should probably go talk to him. What are you going to say? I have no idea. Girl, the way you fly through life with no plans is mind-blowing. <sighs> My generalized anxiety disorder could never. We'll see how it works out for me this time. Mm, at least he's cute. Even cuter than on Instagram. As I walk toward the royal mansion, I feel my heart beating faster. Is my stomach full of butterflies or is it doing flips? How am I supposed to break up with someone who makes me feel so safe? Hey, Isaac. Hey, Ella. Is now a good time to talk? Those are some pricey looking flowers. You definitely didn't get them from Trader Joe's. Yeah, they're huge. I have pollen all over my body. Um, no. Uh, these are from Reed. The other boyfriend. Isaac, I'm so sorry. I, 
Let me put these down. I thought you were coming back to the bay. Then your co-worker told me you quit? Yeah, I should have mentioned that. I hope I didn't make things too awkward. I never meant to ghost you. So much has been happening and I didn't know how to talk to you about everything. I get it. You do? Your life has been hard. I don't love the way you communicated everything, but if I were in your shoes, I might have acted the same way. Really? No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a jerk. <laughs> I forgive you. Really? Is it that easy? Well, yeah, actually. I was worried you were in trouble or something, so seeing you living in a mansion is kind of a relief. I know. The house is, um, very extra. Are these guys billionaires or what? <laughs> I don't know. Millions, billions. I try not to think about it. You seem a little out of place here. So, are you really back with your ex? <sighs> Isaac... You're such an amazing person. Stop. What? One day. Isaac. I'm going to be in L.A. for a couple weeks. My schedule's open, so it's low pressure, okay? But I want to make my intentions clear. Yeah? I really like you, Ella. We're good together. You can't deny that. I want you to be with me. That's... a lot. Give me one day. You don't have to answer me right now, or you can tell me to fuck off. You can do whatever you want, obviously, but I think it's in your best interest to give this a shot. Oh, do you? You already weighed the pros and cons for me, huh? I can show you the Excel spreadsheet I made about us. All the data says I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so confused. Oh, hey, don't stress. Come here. Whatever happens, it'll be okay. I don't want to hurt anyone. But I know that I need to do what's best for me. Right. Exactly. And I'm what's best for you. Just kidding. But not really. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good hugger. Ron too? <laughs> <laughs> Isaac pulls me into his arms again. He's warm and strong. I rest my head on his shoulder. I could stay like this all day. You're okay. If I'm supposed to be with Reed, then why do I feel so at home with Isaac? <sighs> I'm sorry, I have to go. You know, those are really beautiful flowers, but they're not really your style. You don't think so? I would pick something a little less flashy, less dramatic. Those flowers don't seem like you. Just something to think about. Bye, Isaac. Watching Isaac walk away, my head is spinning. That was supposed to be a breakup conversation, and I feel like I dug myself deeper into this two-boyfriend hole. I successfully avoid everyone and take a walk on the beach to clear my head. Once the sun sets, though, I know who I need to see. Come in. I sure wish I had knocked on your door before the last time I came in here. <laughs> <laughs> How'd your exams go? They were okay, I think. I didn't get stuck on anything, which is a good sign. I'm sure you did great. How are you feeling about Dinah and the lawsuit? I'm trying not to think about it. There isn't much for me to do except listen to what Callum tells me anyway. Yeah, that's true. Um, so, about Isaac. Did you break things off with him? I tried. He was waiting for me outside, actually, and we talked. Yeah, I saw. Oh. It didn't look like a breakup conversation. I'm sorry, Reed. For some reason, I couldn't get the words out. I don't like hurting people, you know? 
I'll do it tomorrow, though, for sure. What does he think is happening right now? He knows I'm with you. He knows everything. I don't know why I couldn't get it together and break up with him today, but I will do it tomorrow, I swear. Don't. Reed. No. Honestly, I... Maybe this is a good thing. How could any of this be a good thing? This is a mess. Ella, we've been a mess since the moment we met each other. That's not true. Ella, things have been rocky. Maybe I'm not good for you. You are good for me. You understand me. You believe in me. I, I wouldn't be with you if I didn't believe in us. Yeah, but maybe he would be better for you. Are you breaking up with me? <sighs> no, no. I'm never going to do that. I would never leave you. But if Isaac is a good guy, and you can see yourself being with him, I think you should give him a shot. You want me to date Isaac? Yeah. I mean, no. But, yeah. This is a very weird conversation. I kind of wish we were fighting instead. <laughs> yeah. That would feel more normal. Hey, I want you to pick the right guy. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't give me a shot, too. You want me to date you and date Isaac at the same time? You think you can handle that? Really? I'm not scared of competition, Elle. I want you to be sure that you're picking the right guy, but in my mind... I already know I'm the right guy. And how do you know that? <laughs> because of how you look at me. Like how you're looking at me right now. Reed moves closer to me and places a hand on my cheek. And I don't move away. His lips are inches away from mine. How am I looking at you, Reed? Like you want me. I need to talk to you about your curfew gun. Oh, shit. <gasps> what the fuck? Callum! Ella, what are you... Are you two... Are, are you two... Well, we're... You're, you're what? You're what? Dad, look. What, Reed? <sighs> Reed, you and I need to discuss this. From now on, your bedroom door stays open. Got it. Ella... Please just go to your room. Okay. Callum looked so shocked and then disappointed. I feel sick to my stomach. This morning I was so sure about Reed, but even if I want to be with Reed, is Callum going to let that happen? And if Reed is really the guy I care about most, why does it feel like Isaac has something I've been missing the entire time I've been in Malibu? I feel good around him, grounded. With Reed, there's always something trying to break us apart. And maybe I just don't want to admit it, but what if that's for the best? next episode of the Royals of Malibu. I already told Reed this, but you can't get rid of videos anymore. Even if you delete it, Brooke has backups, backups to those backups, and shit on the cloud, too. Could we delete it from the cloud? We could, if you knew her passwords, but we don't. I'm not cut out to be a mom. <laughs> I'm a fraud. <laughs> oh, come on. You're gonna be fine. You of all people know that I'm goddamn unstable. I don't have it. 
And even if I did, I wouldn't give it to you. Oh my god, I'm sorry about kissing Easton. Goodbye, Ella. How are you seriously still upset about the kiss? We kind of left things in a weird spot the other night, don't you think? You never want to talk about your feelings and you're choosing right now to talk about this? How are we going to celebrate you passing your exams? I don't know, Isaac. I wasn't planning on doing anything unless you have plans. Can I take you out? Yeah, I'd like that. The Royals of Malibu is a production of Diversion Audio in partnership with Pod People. Starring Alyssa McKay as Ella Sinclair, Chris Cafaro as Reed Royal, Nick Cafaro as Easton Royal, Armin Taylor as Callum Royal, Francesca Agramonte as Valerie Gonzalez, Hannah Montoya as Savannah Gonzalez, Burgundy Trejo Phoenix as Brooke Davidson. Edgar De Santiago as Isaac Delgado. Maura Vincent as Dinah O'Halloran. Erica Dawson as Maria Royal. Stephanie Sherry as Lucy and Margaret Sinclair. Jason E. Kelly as Private Investigator. Directed by Matt Sav. Written by Kiana Catty Blue and Lindsay Plussard. Produced by Amy Machado, Emma Demuth, and Jacob Bronstein. Production management by Ashton Carter. Story development by Emma Demuth and Jacob Bronstein. Editorial direction by Scott Waxman. Casting by Lindsay Plussard and Alex Vickmanis. Sound editing, sound design, and engineering by Michael Aquino, Morgan Foose, and Carter Wogan. Dialogue editing by Adam Raimonda. Theme music by Eric Seiler. Associate producer, Shay Woditz. Consulting producers, Chris Cafaro and Nick Cafaro. Executive Producers, Jacob Bronstein, Mark Francis, Rachel King, Alyssa McKay, Matt Sav, and Scott Waxman. For more information, visit DiversionAudio.com. Version audio.